If you could do anything and you know that nothing bad is gonna come from it, what would you do? Comment down below, keep it clean because I'm reading these comments. What would I do? I think I would probably do exactly what this guy is doing in this story, except only because I want to cuddle lines and I just want to love them, just like this guy. So this guy, Franco Ferreira, he's 20 years old, he's an ex-soldier, he basically fed himself to the lions at a Chile zoo. He stripped down butt naked, somehow climbed to the top of the lion enclosure and jumped in just before taunting the lions in what appears to be a suicide attempt. There were hundreds of people watching this all go down. Zoo Keepers were trying to hose down the lines to divert their attention from Ferreira and then they started shooting tranquilizer guns. Then a tranquilizer accidentally hits Ferreira and in that moment the lions were able to grab him, maul him and start dragging him back to their den because I guess it was lunchtime. So obviously it's a human and people value human life no matter what. So they still tried to save his life and then that's when they started shooting actual bullets. When they were shooting the bullets, they hit and killed two of the lions, a male and a female. In his clothes that he left lying on the ground, police found what they believed to be a suicide note with drawings of lions then signed by Jesus. The note also said, the apocalypse has arrived and I will know when it shall come. I am the prophet and I have returned for my people. Zoo workers told local press that Fredo was actually obsessed with the story of Daniel and the lion's den from the Bible. If you don't know the story, Pretty much what happened is Daniel was thrown to the lions and then an angel saved him. A candlelight vigil was arranged for the two lions that were killed and the enclosure remains open and safe. As for Franco Ferreira, he is currently recovering in a hospital with wounds to his face, his skull, his neck, his groin, plus all that tranquilizer in his body.